Hey guys, it is Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Got a great one today. We're going to learn how to do Velvet Revolvers fall to pieces. So uh, there's a great little uh, arpeggiated picking patterns all throughout this song and, a, and an awesome solo by Slash too. So we're going to check out the whole thing. Now before I do though, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell and all the good stuff. And if you really want to support here what I do on here on YouTube, please check out the link in the description below. That's a link to My Guitar Academy. Contains all my courses. That link will give you a free seven day trial too. You get full access to the Academy, all the weekly live streams I do with uh, Academy members. It's every weekend. And um, personalized support from me, access to all my courses. I got courses there for complete beginners to more advanced courses on technique, improvisation, ear training, theory, guitar tone. So go check it out, please. Uh, all right, so let's jump into the song. Tune down a half step here. Um, um, so it's E flat tuning. So we have E flat. A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat. All right, so let's start with this little opening line, which is a little bit tricky to play to get it down exactly like they're doing it. All right, so that little opening line, kind of based around like a, a D sus chord or a D major chord. Um, so you'll basically hold like a regular D major chord and then place the third fret there on the high E string. So you're gonna strum that, that chord, the top four strings. Then we're gonna arpeggiate through the chord. We're gonna lift up that pinky so it's just a regular D major chord now. So we have this. Then we're just gonna play the high E string. So it's a regular D major now. High E string, B, G, then you're gonna lift the finger off on the G string to make it play an open G. So we have this. And then reach over with your pinky and grab the fourth fret there on the D string. So all together. And then you're gonna jump right back and do the same thing again. So we have this. All right, now the second time we get to that pinky uh, that's on the fourth fret of the D string, we have a different ending here. So it's gonna be the open D, open G, and then the second fret there on the A string, then the open G again. So we have this. Now here, we go to a C major chord. The first time you hear him pick through it, you hear him just pick through a, a standard C major. The second time you hear him go from a sus4 to a regular C major. So, and that's what I'm picking up. So it seems like the first time he gets to this C, you after this, just grab a C major chord, hit the fifth fret there, I'm sorry, the, the A string, at the, you're holding the third fret, and then just pick from the high E. From the high E, just kind of arpeggiate across the strings with this. Into a G major chord. So we have this. Um, From there, we're gonna, you can strum a little bit, but you're changing the, the, the note in the bass. So you're kind of strumming the chords, so you keep these fingers up top, but after you strum the G, you're gonna go over to the A string and go two, hammer on three, then back to two, then back to three. Okay, so all the way through all that. Then the second time through, that when we get to that C, is when we're gonna do that C uh, sus4 transition instead. So we have this. This part's the same. When you go to the C here, though, what you're gonna to wanna to do is, so it's a little bit different than the first time through. So here, you can play a regular C major chord, but then just bar that top fret, uh, I mean, that high E string there at the first fret as well. So you kind of keep the finger flattened at first. And you play that across and you've got yourself um, not really a sus, uh, it's not really a sus4 because you still have the the E in here in this in the chord. Yeah, unless you just want to top, you know, really kind of just drum the first top three strings or something. And then basically you 
um, after you strum it once, you lift up that finger so it comes up over to like a regular, you're just holding the first fret on the B instead of the bar. So you just kind of lift up like that. And, and then just like in the previous C chord, just gonna uh, arpeggiate the strings across to that G. So everything really slow. So this is the kind of the, this keeps going. It's the verse. There's some there's some guitar overdubs being played that like comes on sliding down off that. I'm not going to cover that. It's just really kind of filling up the space. More kind of noise, just kind of filling up the background. Um, but it's going to be this that same arpeggiated figure that we we just did in the intro. It just continues um, for the verse. Um, and then out of the verse, uh, we get to this uh, this uh, pre-chorus which is when we, we're gonna kick in a little bit with this distortion here. And we have this, we have Slash as part first. We have, uh, Dave Kushner is, is the one that's doing this, that kind of noise underneath the, the clean, the verse. But we're gonna be doing, um, he's gonna be playing more like kind of power chords uh, behind this. So I'll cover that in a second. We look at Slash's part first for the pre-chorus. Looks like this. <laughs> goes into his, his main little melody riff. Now, um, so that right here is gonna be, basically hold a bar from the second fret across the B to the D string. Then in front of that, you'll pick the third fret on the B. You can pull off there or just pick both notes. Three, two on the B string, then the G string there at the second fret, and then the second fret down the D. So when you get to the second fret on the D, then you go into the open D string, and then over to the fourth fret there on the A string. So we have this. Sorry. And then do that again. So the second time, just like in the, in the verse, there's a different, kind of different ending. And that's gonna be the open A, and the open D. Then the second fret there on the low E string. Where it is. Then it goes to a G major chord. So it's more like a G power chord. So um, open G power chord. So we have this um, third fret on the low E string. You're muting this A string with the bottom of that finger. So that's where the B is typically going to be at. That makes it a major chord. But if you remove that, then it's just a power chord. So we have the open D, open G. And then the third fret there on the uh, B string and the third fret on the high E string. It's kind of a big G, open G power chord. Then it goes to a D power chord. So it's just the open D string, second fret on the um, G, third fret there on the B. Then it goes back. You can play a G chord or just the low note there on the third fret on the low E string. So we have this all together. Now, on the second ending, instead of going G, D, down to that G again, it goes G, A. So it's just an A power chord. Then back to the G. And then that gets us to the uh, main riff. Now, underneath that, we have Dave that's just playing power chords. So when Slash is doing, we have Dave going. So that's just going to be an A power chord hit twice to that G, open G power chord, to the D power chord, and back to the G, and then A power chord again twice, and 
remember this time, G to A. Back to the G. So it kind of follows what Slash does in the, the last chords. And then we had this uh, main melody riff that comes in. Um, and it's, it's, it has a different thing behind it, which is the basically the, the chord progression for the, the chorus progression uh, when there's no kind of uh, when there's vocals. So this comes in later a little bit. We're going to cover this chord progression that's underneath this, uh, but I'm going to cover this melody first. And then when we get to the actual kind of heavy chorus where he's singing the full chorus, um, we'll talk about exactly the chords that are going on underneath this uh, melody part. So let me play the melody for you real quick. So it looks like this. All right, so uh, we're going to start here with this 15, 14 on the high E string. Then go across strings. I got the neck pickup on, by the way, now. Then over to the 15th fret there on the B, 14th on the G. Then play the 12th fret there on the G and slide down to 11. So we just. Then come up here to the 14th fret there on the high E string. And you, what you're going to do is bend up a half step, then release. And pick the 14 without the bend. So we just from there we're gonna go over slash actually has to come over and use his pinky here at the 15th fret there on the B. And then 14, 12, slide down to 11 on the um, on the G over to the 12th fret there on the D. So all together we have this. From there, we have this. So that's going to be 12, 13, 12 on the high E string, 13 on the B, 12 on the G, 10, slide down to 9, over to 10. So we just. Then you're going to play 9, 10. Slide up to 12. So. so, all together. So start the same thing over again. Second time through here, uh, we're just going to stop when we get to that 10 on the A string. Uh, that's just for the first time you hear this melody. When you hear it later at the end of the song, they'll, they'll extend that out a little bit and keep repeating it. Um, but like I said, after that, we just go straight back to the verse. So it's a kind of arpeggiated picking thing that I did in the intro in the verse. Same thing, same pre-chorus again. And then we get to the actual first real chorus of the song. And this is right here is what's the, uh, the chord that's going on underneath that main melody part that I, we just uh, took a look at. So the chords for that, um, the chorus and that main melody part are this. This is uh, what Dave's playing underneath the slash in that section. So it goes. So it's basically a G power chord to a D major chord. So just kind of going back and forth between the, the two first for a few times. And then it goes to a C major chord. So first play a C major, but what we're going to do in front of it is we're going to add just a real quick hit. It's a little kind of we did an octave higher, but we're going to do it an octave lower. This little F to E on the D string. So you're going to play that third, uh, the third fret on the D string real quick. And then resolve it down to the uh, regular C chord. So we have this. And then from there, we're going to go to the G, G power chord. 
and then those same, kind of the same ending that we did at the end of the verse as well too, just obviously with heavy distortion. So we have this. All right, so coming out of that, um, uh, that heavy chorus, we get to the bridge. So we bring it back down here. Um, now, we have two different parts going on here, so I'm gonna cover slashes first, which is the uh, kind of arpeggiated picking part. Um, uh, really, really cool little part here, so looks like this. So very, very cool part. So we, we basically have, he kind of plays it like this. Um, we can have the, the second fret there on the A string, fourth fret there on the G string, and then the third fret there on the B. And then the open high E. So the picking pattern is this. We're gonna play those four notes and just those four strings. We're gonna pick the A string, then the G, B, so back to the G. Then you go to the high E string, B string, G, B. So it's kind of an eight note picking pattern. You can alter and pick it. Which is what he usually does a lot. Um, he's really good at alter picking across strings. All right, from there, we're just gonna do the same thing, except you basically do that pattern twice on that B chord. Then we basically change the note on the, the bass note from the second fret there on the A string to the third fret there on the low E. So it makes it a G chord now. And it, the picking pattern is the same, except obviously the note that's hit first is on the low E string instead of the A now. So it kind of rotates between those two a little bit. Now the third time through it starts with the B chord again. Then it goes to this. We're gonna play an A, the kind of A bar, so barring the second fret across the uh, B, G, and the D. Open A string. Kind of that thing going on. So that's gonna be the open A, then the second, the G string, B string, then back down to the uh, G, G string. Then you're gonna play three, two on the B, then the G string, and then the D. So this. So you repeat that twice. And then. So that you can kind of like strum the chords at first. So basically, you can play this third fret there on the low E, mute the A with that finger. Open D, open G, and then the first fret there on the B. So you kind of quickly strum across that. Then you pick the open G and the open D, and then it's more of a picking pattern across three strings after that. So you can let this ring as much as you can underneath it. But from here, the, after you have that first fret there, open G, open D, and then just pick up to the open B string and pick across those same three strings. Then back to the first fret on the B, same picking pattern. And back to the open, so we have this. So if you do that twice, it does this. A different little melody, that's just the um, first fret on the B, open B, open G, so we have this all together. Now, underneath that, all of that, we have um, Dave Kushner playing uh, just um, uh, more of a, it's just kind of like a, kind of 
kind of a B power chord to an open G power chord. So it's just like B power chord. So that's the second fret on the A. Uh, this is what Dave's playing in the bridge. Um, we have the second fret on the A, fourth on the D, fourth on the G. Kind of hit those. And then go to that open G power chord. Then repeat that. From there, we're going to go back to this uh, B power chord, but you can kind of start kind of like this. Note rhythm on it. it kind of starts building up down to the A power chord. It's kind of starts strumming that open G power chord, kind of building up um, for the solo rhythm. So the solo comes in here. I'm going to play slash slowly for a quick. Now this solo is pretty much over the chorus riff, so that that heavy chorus riff done three times, and then there's a little extension at the end of it, which is just, it, it adds this E minor. So you do the, the chorus riff three times. So there's just a rhythm guitar part underneath, underneath the solo. And then just do uh, an E minor, G, A, G. So um, that's just a little extension that's at the very end. So the solo, the chorus progression done three times, and then E minor, G, A, G. Um, and you're good to go. Uh, so, let me play Slash the Solo for you real quick, and then I'll show you how to play it note for note. So here we go. So we're going to start here with the neck pickup, uh, with a bend at the uh, whole step bend at the 17th fret on the B string. Then he'll start kind of a few more bends on it, and and then it does this: 15, 17 on the B, 16 on the G, back to 15 on the B, and then it, and then that quick little bend, a whole step bend at the 17th fret again, but just kind of kind of kill it as you bend it up. So it goes. And then we're going to come up here to this next phrase. All right, so that's going to be a bend at the 20th fret on the B string. Hold that bend. Then play 19, 20 on that B string. Then a couple of bends uh, with your index finger here at the 17th fret there on the B string over to the 19 on the G string. So we this. From there we. So it's gonna be a 17 on the G, hammer 19, pull off to 17, slide down to 16. Back to 17, and then do the same little move, but it's gonna be 16, 17, pull back off to uh, 16, slide down to 14, so we this. And then bend that 14th fret there with your index finger. So it is. From there, we're going to do some oblique bends. So he comes back and grabs like this. Or actually, he does it like that, I think. But uh, it's just a bend at the 14th fret there. And then play 15 on the B string. So you're doing the bend on the, the G string, but not the B. So it's like an oblique bend. And then you do that again. And then resolve it down to the 14th fret without the bend. So then we have this next phrase. So that goes up to the 16th fret there on the G string again. So 
16 on the uh, G string, 15 on the B, back to 16 on the G, and bend to the 17th fret, then uh, fit 17th fret without the bend. Down to 15, over to 16 on the G, and then back to that 15, so this. Then play 16 on the G, 15 on the G again, uh, 15 on the B, and then jump back here to the 15th fret on the high E string. So it is. So at the bend at the 15th fret, and then 14, 15, and then a bend at the 14. And then you gotta pick 14 without the bend. 15 on the B, 14 on the G, back to that 15 on the B. From here we go up to here, uh, this next race. So you can see I switched to the uh, bridge pickup. So I started was uh, I started uh, the phrase without it. So so coming out of that previous lick when we now by the way this is when that E minor comes in when it gets so uh, when you get when you get to this this part that's when the E minor hits in that chord progression. So we played through the chorus progression three times. When we get to this. That part, that's when the E minor comes in and the, the, the chords underneath it are changing here. All right, from, so this part right here, you're gonna first do that 15 on the B, 16 on the G, a bend and release at the 17 on the B, and as you do that, you're gonna switch over to the, the bridge pickup. So from there, it goes back to the, the 12th fret here on the high E string. Pick that note. And then into a whole side bend at the 15th fret there on the B. So you do that a couple times. And then you're gonna play 12 on the high E, 14, I mean 15 on the B. Series of half step bends there at the 14th fret on the high E string. And then a whole step bend at the 15th fret. So we have this. And then that's that 14, 15, and then half step bend and release at the 14 on the high string. And then as it fades out, you can hear him kind of go. And you can't really hear it when he goes live. He goes. Which is just another bend at the 17th fret on the B string, the very end. And then 15, 17 on the B, 16 on the G and then 15 there on the B string. So I'll get her that little ending. All right, so out of there, uh, we're gonna go to the, uh, back into the, the heavy chorus again. So nothing new there, and then the song's gonna end with that, uh, that main melody. Uh, played kind of an extended time through. So it's So it's got some great little guitar lines in it, uh, some kind of challenging arpeggiated picking sections as well too. So uh, it's a good, good little workout. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.